Yeah, that'll do nicely. Alright. Funk. Good job, just install exactly what they demand. Ho ho ho, that was good. He just made one of the most influential people in this city despise his own philosophy. Can't wait to discover how this changes our town. Well done. Anxiety. Alright. Company plans. Empathy, compassion. Probably this one. Venerable to a, ha a hippie. So she gets a conscience and... Yeah, okay. Good job, just install exactly what they demand, yeah, yeah. If she happens to have second thoughts about whether what they're doing is right, this is definitely going to tip the balance to our side. I hope this doesn't totally wreck her. Or well what or well. Don't you mean, oh well? Oh well, what do I care about some corporate pig? In any case, I wonder what she's so anxious about. Let's try digging into her neural drive. With all due respect, that doesn't sound really... With all due respect, that doesn't really seem ethical. It definitely isn't. Well, Akara, that's what we revolutionaries do. We break rules in pursuit of a better world. I can breaking the rules lead to a better world. The question is, who defined the rules in the first place? Properly answer that question, I'll need to delve deeper into the meaning and implication of rules. Then I'll be able to determine who should be. This can't be possible. If you ever get the chance, you should try talking ethics with your creators, not me. I just uncovered the most fucked up scheme a corporation has tried to pull yet. Supercontinent is planning to transform us all into a pile of smiling, brainless dolls. The project goes by the name of Social Psyche Welfare. It involves every human being with implants in them. No shit they've been slashing the prices on implants over the uh, last few years. You're being filmed, girl. I read here that currently more than 59% of the population wears some kind of upgrade. upgrade. But they plan to expand the program to 99.7% of the population by some sort of mirror neuron algorithm what's that they plan to execute this on what but this is who makes the rules akara 184 commitment compromise dismissing unit fuck what happened I got to know and feel how Akara here got wrecked. She was gunned down by the clinic's security systems, along with uh, Ariadne. Shame, I like that girl. Revolutionaries don't live long. But we do live in tents. I thought you lived in houses. 
Oh no, are you a revolutionary now? Don't tell me you're planning on finishing that girl's job. It's not that. Just before she was zapped, Ariadne discovered a pretty fucked up scheme. From Super Continental Limited? What a surprise. Shut up. I mean, fucked up even for a corporation. They're moving into mind control. A system or something called Social Psyche Welfare. And it will manipulate implant wearers, so allow me to take this personally. It does sound fucked up even for a corporation. Are you sure about this? Donovan, they killed Ariadne just for reading it out loud. Okay, okay. But let me dig a little deeper into all this before we try to pull some crazy stunt. Don't want you joining the revolutionary grave. Human improvement compromised. Oh, that makes sense now. What do we do with them? Hmm. Para is a droid specialized in empathy, right? Let's have them patched up. I have an idea. Yeah, I thought so. Welcome to the Red Stream Club. And I thought I was the crazy bastard. There's a fine line between a crazy bastard like you and a genius like me. And I don't blame you for having... And I don't blame you for not being able to see the difference. Whatever. Let's just go over the plan. We have to find a way to infiltrate Supercontinent Limited's offices. Then I'll hack their operation down. Damn. That's like the last stage of the plan, man. First we have to know if all this poses a real threat. What if it really means? What it really means? And how it will affect us and this town? Maybe there's even a way to sabotage it without having to send you in. It's a real fucking threat, Donovan. And we don't know how much time we have left until they turn me into a brainless doll. Okay, how about this? You start securing an infiltration method. Talk with your terrorist friends and their ilk. Do your thing. It'll take you a couple of days at least. In the meantime, I'll gather some intel and make sure we avoid what trouble we can. My investigation will determine what course of action is needed. But then, and only then, we'll decide if you'll go in there. You hear me? If this happens to be as apocalyptic as you predict, I'll back you up with everything I have. You'll go in a lot more prepared this way, don't you think? On the other hand, if you find this isn't such a big deal, you can call off the operation. We'll pay your hacker friends for the trouble, and that's it. Alright, Donovan. Okay. A much wiser way to proceed, no? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, you're right. Thank you, Donovan. You're very welcome, handsome. A client is approaching the club. Wow, how do you know? I'm accessing footage from all recording devices in proximity of the club in real time to better help Donovan. Nice. You can do that? I told you they'd make a great egg. Now go. I know who's coming. I called a consultant engineer who was recently hired by Supercontinent to work on some new bionics firmware. I've worked with her in the past and my instincts tell me she's got something to do with all this. You sure pull the heartstrings quick. Time is of the essence. Don't want my crazy... Don't want my favourite crazy bastard to turn into a brainless doll. Ha ha. Ha ha. Goodbye, genius. I'll keep you posted. Alright, Akara, remember. Don't interact with the clients unless necessary. Welcome them to the club and thank them when they leave. If your empathy superpowers make you aware of something you want to share with me, wait until we're alone in the club. Got me? Understood. Welcome to the Red Strings Club, Diana Myers. Oh, am I that famous? That was a bit of a slip up, bitch. Damn you, Akara. Don't go saying clients' names. How should I cover this? Uh, how do I approach this? I told her you were coming. This might make her distrust him. 
She's very well informed. This places attention on the doll, which we don't want. Yes, you are that famous. Uh, flattery. Kind of a diversion tactic. Sure. Come on, Diana. You've even been on TV. It's only natural you'd have admirers, isn't it? Ha, huh, well played. But you don't have to kiss my ass. When did you start hiring brats to work at the bar, anyway? Are you getting old? Yeah, you know. My leg isn't getting any better, and I thought I could use an extra hand. Ah, uh, must be tough facing life without any upgrades, huh? I'm happy. Does that count? Congratulations. You have a light? Cigalit? Okay, I'll spare you the preamble and guess why you called me. Is it because of the dead girl at the H Plus Corpse Clinic? Shit. You engineers don't like to waste time, huh? I know your boyfriend works with those Proxima rascals on the regular and figured you'd want details. And I thought I was the information broker, damn. What's that info gonna cost me? There's some information I'd like you to get me in exchange. This nut will be pretty hard to crack, but I trust you're the best. Now you're gilding the pill. What do you say we start with a drink on the house? Yes, please. I've been dying to sip from one of your cocktails again. Right away, miss. Hey, Newman, my muse. Are you around? This time it's the real deal. Let's get some info out of this girl. Remember, put the glass with spirits to tune into the soul discs. Oh, I can I kinda get it now. This points up, so this will go up. The tequila will go to the left. Okay. Adjust the size of the disc by adding ice to the drink. Oh okay. So right now it's that. If I put in ice, I can make it smaller. Oh. I don't know what this one is though. I think this one is down. Okay, uh, I filled the notebook with our objectives. Please have a look at them. Okay. Sure. I'll be taking notes, adding facts and updating the objectives as we progress, so please check it out now and then. Ah, one more thing. Before asking her any questions, think about whether she's in the right mood to answer them. This isn't a video game. We can't keep repeating the same dialogue again and again. If you need to change the mood, just serve her another drink. We'll take it from there. In this case, sympathy may draw out confessions, and fear may exploit her paranoia. I'll trust your instincts, my magical friend. Okay, fear or sympathy? Let's try to draw out fear first. So down, maybe it's vodka, maybe it's vodka, I hope it's vodka. go you like mmm really sour don't like it yeah sorry listen I'm starting to get a bad feeling about all this you mind if we do this quick of course no problem fear seems to have taken hold of her how do I start Yeah. 